Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For prime time to this day. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man. Oh man, a lot of people are talking about hey, your boy Shakur Stevenson. You know, they basically saying that hey, a fight with him and Javante Tank Davis is inevitable. And Javante Tank Davis himself even said that hey, you know, let me go ahead and get this Frank out of the way. Either Shakur or either Loma can get it next. Man, oh man. So what we going to do is we going to discuss a matchup, a potential matchup between Shakur Stevenson and Javante Tank Davis. Who will win? Whose style would win this fight? Because you know styles make fights, right? And me observing both of the styles, you have Shakur Stevenson, a more elusive footwork in and out type style to where he's more of a boxer than anything, a technician, a technical assassin in the ring, picking his spots, moving around, dipping in and out with cat-like reflexes. Mm. Makes for a good hard fight. And I know people talking about that Edwin De La Santos. Look, he already explained he fought the guy with one hand. And if Edwin had any sense, if he had any sense of urgency, if he had any sense of confidence, he would have ran and ran over Shakur Stevenson. But that goes to a true testament on how good he is to be able to beat a Edwin De La Santos with one hand. Hey. Just got to keep it real, you know? So, now moving on to Javante Tank Davis, what he brings to the table. You know, a lot of people, they just be talking about, oh, you know, uh, he, he got power, man. You know, yeah, he got power, but he got more than just power. Come on now, y'all. Y'all got to realize and think about who you talking about and who he was signed to train with Mayweather Promotions, y'all. That means he was in the Mayweather gym, the Mayweather Matrix, learning that style and that techniques, which he uses his own style, but uses and mimics some of the Mayweather-esque type styles in his fight game. But what I will tell you the most is, he's like a pit viper. He dips in to the middle of the flames the war where the punches are getting thrown and he picks his shots and bing bang and he's in and out he dips in goes to war with you and lands that uppercut it's like he knows when to dip in and do his thing now the trick of it all is is that who has the best footwork? Because honestly, Shakur Stevenson, we saw in the Edwin De La Santos fight, his footwork is a game. Able to move him in and out of danger when need be. Javante Tank Davis has also good footwork as well, but will chasing him land him into something. Because we know his style is more on that same notion. He drives fighters into fighting his style, backs up, and then catches them, drawing them into a trap. So, who is going to get trapped first? That's the question. Is Shakur Stevenson going to be able to impose his will and reach and range on a shorter Javante Tank Davis? Or will Javante Tank Davis be able to use his ring experience and techniques 
to draw Shakur Stevenson in to a uppercut trap, therefore sending him to the mat for the first time in his illustrious career. Now, it could go the other way. It could go Shakur Stevenson setting Javante Tank Davis up for a trap and catching him when he come in, knocking him down for the first time in his illustrious career. So, we got two undefeateds fighting each other. We got two of the four horsemen, pretty much, of the elite group. Yeah, you, you know, it's done been mixed around a few times. Oh, you want to know what it is? Okay, I give you the four horsemen. Javante Tank Davis, Shakur Stevenson, and Ryan Garcia, and Devin Hayne. That was the initial true four horsemen. Now it's... Javante Tank Davis, Shakur Stevenson, Teofimo Lopez, and Devin Haney. Depending on how this, you know, this B sample testing go for a Ryan Garcia, because, you know, we're waiting on that. That's going to drop, but, you know, it takes time. So we're going to see how this go. It's crazy. It is crazy. So, um, but, Picking a winner of this fight, that's daggone near impossible. You need a scientist or something. You need to go back to future or go in the future to be able to see who gonna win this fight because I'm telling you, it is definitely a 50-50 fight for me. Now, hey, that's on paper. That's in, you know, what we know of each fighter's track record as of now. But when they fight, it could be a total different thing you know we know how the Crawford and Earl Spence fight went because I gave that a 50-50 fight <laughs> but uh we know how that went so we could see that on this fight we could see a one-sided fight we could see a lopsided fight we could see a fight that ends in dramatic fashion and one fighter losing laid out and the other fighter running standing on the ring apron you know on the turnbuckles, screaming at everybody, pounding his chest, saying, hey, you know, I told y'all, I told y'all. <laughs> so, hey, it's up in the air on who can win that fight. We definitely got to wait until this fight materializes, but we can say this much. We have Turkey Allah Sheik in the midst of everything now, so if there is a dream fight that you fans, boxing fans, waiters, haters, lovers, debaters, if it's something y'all want to see, I'm telling you, the time is now if you want to chime in and get your voice heard. Because Turkey al Sheik and a lot of other promoters here in the U.S. are now listening up because it's a new fighter promoter in this game. And Turkey al Sheik ain't playing. You know, pocket's deep. He running them up on them. So, hey, that right there is going to wake everybody else up, make everybody put on better fights, make the best fight the best. And let's let's get it on no more of this ducking and picking and choosing all that stuff is about to be out the window time is closing down for all that fakeness all that that whack stuff all these guys picking and choosing ducking and dodging and giving us warmed up microwave fights look we don't want no more tv dinners we want the whole shebang we want the family barbecue we want that we want that cookout royale you know, we want that beef cooked. We want them grills out. We want them charcoal. We want that gas. We want that gasoline. We want that kerosene. I don't care what kind of heater you got. I don't care what kind of grill you cooking it on. It could be a daggone grill it. I don't care. Just do it. Bring the big fights. Make the fighters fight the big fights, period. No more excuses. 
Excuses should be over with now. We too old for excuses. You know what I mean? Excuses when you're a little kid and stuff like that. We all grown. We paying bills. Like paying taxes. So it's time that we get some action. So anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for this video. You already know the routine. When you leave my house, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everyone definitely go to the website primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch alright y'all peace love and I'm out till next time it's prime time.